What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my fantasy football starts and sits for NFL Week 7. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over each position and give you my fantasy football starts and sits for NFL this week. This should help you decide who you want to start in your season long fantasy football leagues. And we will show you how to use the draft dashboard tools to dominate your season long fantasy leagues. You can find waiver wire targets, get player point projections, find the best positional matchups to see who is projected to score the most fantasy points this week. These tools will help you decide what players to start in your fantasy football leagues. We have it all right here, so let's get into it. Okay guys, let's take a look at my starts and sits for NFL Week 7. So at the quarterback position, I'm going to start Matthew Stafford from the Detroit Lions playing the Atlanta Falcons, who have the absolute worst defense overall and they give up the absolute most fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks. Matthew Stafford has averaged 17.9 fantasy points per game on the season. He's getting an average of three rush attempts per game. He scored 13, 23, and 19 fantasy points in the last three games, and he's projected at 20 fantasy points here in week seven. He's 6,500 DraftKings salary and 800 more on FanDuel. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 56.5 points scored in this game, so a high scoring game. And they have the Detroit Lions trailing by three. So it's a fantastic matchup for Matthew Stafford here versus the Atlanta Falcons. High scoring game a passing game script. So I like Matthew Stafford here versus the Atlanta Falcons. Another quarterback that I'm going to start this week is Gardner Minshew from the Jacksonville Jaguars playing the LA Chargers who have a middle of the pack defense overall, but they give up the second most fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks. Gardner Minshew has averaged 21.6 fantasy points per game on the season. He gets an average of 3.5 rush attempts per game. He scored 20, 24, and 25 fantasy points in the last three games, projected at 19.6 fantasy points here in week seven. Vegas thinks there's going to be 49 points scored in this game, with the Jacksonville Jaguars trailing by eight. So a great matchup for Minshew. He's been playing really well the last few weeks. This should be a passing game script for him. So I'm going to start Gardner Minshew here versus the LA Chargers. And another quarterback I'm going to start is Teddy Bridgewater from the Carolina Panthers playing the New Orleans Saints, who have the sixth worst defense overall and they give up the third most fantasy points to opposing quarterbacks. Teddy Bridgewater has averaged 18.5 fantasy points per game on the season. He's getting an average of 3.8 rush attempts per game. He scored 11, 24, and 27 fantasy points in the last three games. So he's coming off of a bad week last week, but he did get eight rush attempts in that game and he's projected at 18.3 fantasy points here in week seven. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 51 points scored in this game, and they have the Panthers trailing by seven and a half. So once again, we have a great matchup and a passing game script. So I like Teddy Bridgewater here versus the New Orleans Saints. Okay, who are we going to sit at the quarterback position? I'm going to sit Baker Mayfield from the Cleveland Browns playing the Cincinnati Bengals who have a middle of the pack defense overall and they're middle of the pack defending opposing quarterbacks. Now Baker Mayfield, he was taken out of that game last week. 
He's questionable right now, but even if he's healthy and even if he gets the start, I'm going to sit Baker Mayfield. He's only averaging 13.6 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of two rush attempts per game. And he only scored seven fantasy points last week. He's projected at 15.5 fantasy points here in week seven. Vegas thinks there's going to be 52 points scored in this game. And they have the Cleveland Browns favored by three and a half. I think they're going to lean on Kareem Hunt in this one. So I'm going to sit Baker Mayfield here versus the Cincinnati Bengals. Okay, let's take a look at the running back position. I'm going to start Kareem Hunt from the Cleveland Browns playing the Cincinnati Bengals who have a middle-of-the-pack defense overall, and they're middle-of-the-pack defending opposing running backs. Kareem Hunt has averaged 16 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 13.8 rush attempts per game and three pass targets per game. He scored 8, 18, and 19 fantasy points in the last three weeks. He's coming off of a bad week, but he's projected at 17.4 fantasy points here in week seven. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 52 points scored in this game with the Cleveland Browns favored by three and a half. So I don't trust Baker Mayfield. I think he was taken out of that game last week. He's banged up, his wide receivers are banged up. So I think the Cleveland Browns are gonna rely on Kareem Hunt in this one. I think he's gonna get a ton of volume here. So I'm going to start Kareem Hunt here versus the Cincinnati Bengals. The other running back I'm going to start is Mike Davis from the Carolina Panthers playing the New Orleans Saints, who have the sixth worst defense overall and they're middle of the pack defending opposing running backs. Mike Davis has averaged 17.2 fantasy points per game on the season getting an average of 10.7 rush attempts per game and six pass targets per game. But take a look at the last three weeks. He got 18, 16, and 16 rush attempts, scoring 13, 30, and 22 fantasy points. He's projected at 20.5 fantasy points here in week seven. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 51 points scored in this game, And although they have the Carolina Panthers trailing by seven and a half, Mike Davis is involved in the passing game. He got 10 pass targets a couple of weeks ago, so you don't have to worry about him being game scripted out of this one. Even if they fall behind, Mike Davis will be on the field catching passes. So I'm going to start Mike Davis here versus the New Orleans Saints. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all the tools for NFL, MLB is still going, NBA is right around the corner. This is a great time to get in and try everything for one month. The tools are all about saving research time. You can see the last three games, the fantasy points per game, the targets they got per game, so you can see how involved they are in the offense, the rushes they got per game. Seeing all this stuff on one screen helps you save time and make better picks. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Another running back I'm going to start is Todd Gurley from the Atlanta Falcons playing the Detroit Lions, who have a middle-of-the-pack defense overall and they give up the third most fantasy points to opposing running backs. Todd Gurley has averaged 15.3 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 16.5 rush attempts per game and 2.8 pass targets per game. He got 20, 14, and 16 rush attempts in the last three weeks. So he's getting a ton of volume. He's getting the goal line carries, He's got a fantastic matchup here. He's projected at 15.2 fantasy points here in week seven. Vegas thinks this is gonna be a high scoring game. 56.5 points scored in this game with the Falcons favored by three. 
So fantastic matchup, super high scoring game. They're favored in this game, the home favorite. So I'm going to start Todd Gurley here versus the Detroit Lions. Okay, who are we going to sit here at the running back position? Unless you don't have any other better options, I'm going to sit Raheem Mostert from the San Francisco 49ers playing the New England Patriots, who have a good defense overall, and they give up the fifth fewest fantasy points to opposing running backs. Raheem Mostert has averaged 17.1 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 12.8 rush attempts per game and three pass targets per game. So if you don't have any other better options at running back, of course you're going to start Raheem Mostert if he's healthy and active here in week seven. But he's been a little banged up. He's got a bad matchup here versus the Patriots. He only scored 10 fantasy points last week, even though he got 17 rush attempts and two pass targets. I think the San Francisco 49ers are going to have to throw the ball on the New England Patriots. So I'm going to sit Raheem Mostert here versus the New England Patriots. Okay, let's take a look at the wide receiver position. I'm going to start Jamison Crowder from the New York Jets playing the Buffalo Bills, who have the ninth worst defense overall and their middle of the pack defending opposing wide receivers. Jamison Crowder has averaged 22.1 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 11.5 pass targets per game. He's on the field for 85% of the snaps, and he scored 12, 29, and 20 fantasy points in the last three games off of 13, 10, and 10 pass targets. He's projected at 15.1 fantasy points here in week seven. So he's on a bad football team, but he's getting a ton of passing volume and he's been really productive so far this season. So I'm going to start Jamison Crowder here versus the Buffalo Bills. Another wide receiver I'm going to start is Terry McLaurin from the Washington football team playing the Dallas Cowboys who have the second worst defense overall and they give up the third most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. Terry McLaurin has averaged 16.2 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 9.7 pass targets per game. He's on the field for 95% of the snaps. He got 12, 7, and 14 pass targets in the last three games, so he's getting a ton of volume, and he's been productive, scoring 14, 6, and 25 fantasy points in the last three games. He's projected at 15.2 fantasy points here in week seven. He's got a fantastic matchup against the Dallas Cowboys who have been giving up a ton of points to opposing teams. They've had a hard time stopping wide receivers. Terry McLaurin should run all over the Dallas Cowboys. So I'm gonna start Terry McLaurin here versus the Dallas Cowboys. Another wide receiver I'm going to start is Tyler Boyd from the Cincinnati Bengals playing the Cleveland Browns who have the 10th worst defense overall and they give up the third most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. Tyler Boyd has averaged 15.1 fantasy points per game on the season getting an average of 8 pass targets per game. He's on the field for 78% of the snaps, projected at 14.7 fantasy points here in week seven. Vegas thinks there's going to be 52 points scored in this game with the Bengals trailing by three and a half. So the Bengals don't have a great team, but they do have a good quarterback. Joe Burrow has been great this season. Tyler Boyd has a fantastic matchup here. This should be a passing game script. And Tyler Boyd has been outperforming A.J. Green, getting more pass targets, scoring more fantasy points. Now, A.J. Green did have a decent game last game, but I think that only helps Tyler Boyd. So I'm going to start Tyler Boyd here versus the Cleveland Browns. 
Okay, what wide receiver are we going to sit here in week seven? I'm gonna sit Traquan Smith from the New Orleans Saints playing the Carolina Panthers, who have a good defense overall, and they give up the second fewest fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. Traquan Smith has averaged 9.5 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 4.2 pass targets per game. Although he's been on the field for 83% of the snaps, and he's projected at 10.7 fantasy points here in week seven. I'm gonna sit Traquan Smith because they have Michael Thomas back. He only got three pass targets last week, only turned that into three fantasy points. He's got a bad matchup here in week seven. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 51 points scored in this game with the New Orleans Saints favored by seven and a half. So this game could turn into a running game script so I'm going to sit Traquan Smith here versus the Carolina Panthers. Okay, moving on to the tight end position. I'm going to start TJ Hawkinson from the Detroit Lions playing the Atlanta Falcons, who have the absolute worst defense overall, and they give up the second most fantasy points to opposing tight ends. TJ Hawkinson has averaged 11.3 fantasy points per game on the season, averaging five pass targets per game. He scored 10, 11, and nine fantasy points in the last three weeks. He's been a consistent producer, hasn't had any huge games yet, but he's been finding the end zone, and he's one of Matthew Stafford's favorite targets. He's on the field for 70% of the snaps, projected at 11.2 fantasy points, here in week seven. Vegas thinks there's gonna be 56.3 points scored in this game with the Detroit Lions trailing by three. So fantastic matchup here, high scoring game, passing game script. So I'm gonna start TJ Hawkinson here versus the Atlanta Falcons. The other tight end I'm gonna start is Hunter Henry from the LA Chargers playing the Jacksonville Jaguars who have the fifth worst defense overall, and they give up the six most fantasy points to opposing tight ends. Hunter Henry has averaged 11 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of seven pass targets per game. He's on the field for 87% of the snaps. He got eight pass targets last week, scored 12 fantasy points. He's projected at 12.7 fantasy points here in week seven. Great matchup here for Hunter Henry. He's been getting a ton of pass volume, red zone targets. So I'm gonna start Hunter Henry here versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. Okay, what tight end are we gonna sit here in week seven? I'm gonna sit Dalton Schultz from the Dallas Cowboys playing the Washington football team who have a middle of the pack defense overall and their middle of the pack defending opposing tight ends. Dalton Schultz has averaged 10.5 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 6.2 pass targets per game. So although he's on the field for 88% of the snaps, and he's projected at 8.7 fantasy points here in week seven, he doesn't have Dak Prescott throwing him the ball anymore. Andy Dalton is not a good quarterback. I think a lot of people fell into the trap of listening to those announcers talk about Andy Dalton like he's a good quarterback, that he could be a starter on other teams. I don't think so. He had an awful performance on Monday night. I think these Dallas pass catchers are in trouble moving forward. So I'm going to sit Dalton Schultz here versus the Washington football team. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite play.
player for this NFL slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.